Hey everyone, um, we're back at the house again. So I think this is part three now. Um, just wanted to touch on a couple of things um, to give you some information just while you're actually in the flip doing the work um, and the products that you buy and what you put in the house. So you want to just make sure that when you're putting stuff into a house, it matches what's in the neighborhood. Um, meaning if you are in a neighborhood that's 350 to 550, you probably want to put granite or quartz in there. If you're in a townhouse, if every townhouse in the complex has got laminate regular countertops, probably stick to that grade. Don't overspend on your budget. Shop around, get great prices. Let me know if you need um, any supply warehouses for granite and stuff like that. Um, I've got great people that I work with, so um, I can get you better pricing than you would if you it's the first time you've been doing this. Also, um, emotional attachment. That's one thing I hear people, I want this, I want to put this in, I want to design this, I want to do it this way. A lot of the time, people get emotionally attached to their investments that they're doing when it really comes down to the numbers. Are you getting your money back? People want to spend 15000 20000 on landscaping. Landscaping does not get you money back. Um, it is visually attractive, and if there is requirements that's needed to get it up to par, um, then you need to do those. But really actually getting money back for landscaping, um, you know, uh, a really, really high-end plush carpet versus just having good padding and a cheaper carpet, you're going to get the same value back. You're just spending less money. So just be very aware of what you're putting into a house and what the neighborhood um, is, is demanding for the, the quality of upgrades and level of finishes that you're doing. So be careful about doing that type of stuff. Um, we're going to have a quick walk through. I'm not sure they've been there for about a week and some change, maybe two weeks since we originally started doing these videos. So we're going to go inside and check out kind of what they've done so far. Okay, so I came through the garage, um, but kind of see right on the doorway, they've done some nice accent tile. Um, just to give it a slightly higher end finish as you first walk in. So the tiling all here in the entryway has been done. This bathroom is completely gutted still. Just needs some tile to be laid in there. There is cabinet boxes. So I'm thinking there should be some cabinets inside the kitchen. Okay, kitchen. Let's back out so you can see what's kind of going on here. So if you remember, this was completely empty. Uh, kitchen was completely ripped out it's got tile floor down brick style all throughout the kitchen what's that nice nice work nice work having it's hold on i'm just doing a quick video are we changing the tile around this fireplace or no okay i would have probably changed that it's not my house. All right, we'll stay in the budget. Are oh, you painted the stairs in the basement already? Okay. Anything been done upstairs? Yeah. 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 Come on, guy. Come on, guy. <laughs> See. Tile, new vanities. Seeing open toilets, pet peeve. Still need to go in there. <clears throat> so the whole house has also been painted from top to bottom. Just went with a slightly off-white paint. Taking off the banister rail, tighten it. Washroom. It's also been tiled and painted. All of the doors have been taken off the hinges, been sprayed and painted. Windows have all been repaired. Everywhere it is painted. Most of the tiling has been done.
some of my clients here. This is Lawrence. Say hi, Lawrence. Hi. <laughs> it's a nice tile saw there. <laughs> Say hi to all my clients you've worked with, Lawrence. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> See, here's just a look. It's winter time. We will not be touching this backyard, not one piece. We'll clean it up, and that's about it. One thing I am looking for, if anybody on Facebook knows, is a carriage door repair person. Um, this glass is broken out of the top of the garage door, and the panels. Uh, so, I'm thinking we may just replace the whole door. Anyway, until next time, people.